concludes our presentation PPT. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zhao Yongchun. I would like to present our paper, Assessing the Impact of Demographic Change on Carbon Emission in China. This report is divided into five segments. In the first of the in the first part of the report, we are going to um, begin with an influencing mechanism about population in different age group on carbon emissions. Please look at the figure one. Although population size is increasing during 2019, the total trend of kids and world ratio and the age ratio around 2012. After the situation, the rate of change of national current emission in China has shown around 2030, which then has a similar time point with one point figure one. Actually, the objective of theory population structure different age group will increase current emissions through changing consumption and production construction. For these reasons, we post research about the effect on current emissions and further explore if an increase in the elderly population will become a hinder of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. We adopt a method of empirical research based on the STIRPAD model. We construct, constructed a dynamic panel model as follows and estimated the coefficients by using the system general, generalized method of moments with Stata 16 software. After empirical testing, we made a focus of amount of national carbon emissions based on the empirical model on the business as usual scenario. In the descriptive statistics, we set carbon emissions as dependent variable urbanization rates and other seven variables as proxy variables of population, wage level and GDP per capita as po proxy variables of affluence, energy structure and intensity as positive variables of technology. The results of units root and co and co Integration tests show that there are no pseudo regression for problems with variable settings. Table 2 is our estimation results by using the method of system generalized method of moments. As a whole, most of coefficients are significant, which is consistent with most of the research results. We concerned about the population factors of household size and population in different age group. On more reference only of one year lack of carbon emissions has a significant influence, which indicates carbon emissions in the last year, maintain the same direction as the current characterized of continuous and dynamic process is existing. The remarkable positive signs of urbanization indicates that it can produce energy. Okay, and table two is our estimate, estimation results by using the method of system GMM. As a whole, uh, most of coefficients are significant, which is consistent with 
most of the research results. We concerned about the population factor of households size and population in different age group and model one and two are for reference only. The impact of one year lack of carbon emissions has a significant positive influence, which indicates that carbon emissions in the last year maintain the same direction as the current period and the char characterized of continuous and dynamic processes existing. The remarkable positive signs of urbanization indicates that it can be produced energy crisis during promoting economic growth and improve living standards. The coefficient of household science is not significant only in model four, and this may be caused by the variable representing kids are added. In, mo in model four to six, the results show that the impact of kids ratio and the old age dependency ratio are carbon emission are both negative, which is simili similar with study conducted by Wei and Liu in 2022. And the labor force rate shows positive influence. Affluence and technology are also found to have positive and significant impact on carbon emissions. In this section, we focused agri aggregate carbon emissions by considering business as usual scenario. To be specific, the projection from 2020 to 2040 confer that carbon emissions in China will increase continuously and peak around 2030, which show that if the current energy conservation targets of the government carry out, China is expected to make a great contribution to reduction of the world's carbon emissions. In figure five, we compare the influence degree of elderly on carbon emissions between background and estimated results, which show that the characterize of elderly consumption about residents transport and healthcare haven't been appeared an increasing trend and have a positive influence on carbon emissions. This may be the reason why our coefficients are negative, but it still needs attention about the possible positive effects in the future. The, the coefficient of floating population on carbon emissions is significant only in model six, when different age group, groups were added, which indicates that most of floating population in Chinese province in the research period excludes the elderly population, and the carbon emission will increase during the inflow of population increasing. We try to draw a mechanism diagram and confirm that labor migration Teams to be higher the carbon emissions in an area. Some scholars confirm that comparing with population size, population structure has a more positive and significant impact on carbon emissions. Finally, environmental cost net curve have not been found between per capita GDP or urbanization and carbon emissions in our research period, which is something that we need to explore further. That's all for the report. Thank you.